Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, filming this for a uh, gentleman down in Florida who's having a little trouble programming this radio, and I thought maybe I could go through some of the features here and show everybody how this thing works. Um, so, this is the Gentai JT6188 Mini Mobile. It is a factory reset right out of the box. It uh, right now it's sitting in memory mode, and I'm going to show you the difference so that you understand. Okay, this is VFO mode you'll see there's two frequencies displayed there. That does not relate to transmitting and receiving frequency. What that relates to is two different tuners that can receive two different transmissions and it'll switch between them if it senses an incoming signal on one of those two frequencies. It does not uh, show you repeater offsets or anything like that. Okay. The way you program a repeater offset is to use the VFO mode to set your transmitting and receiving frequencies, your PL tones, whatever the case is, save it to a memory channel, and then you go into memory mode. Now you can tell you're in memory mode by this number right here on, to, on the right. In this case it says 199. From the factory it's set with a preset of 480.050 in memory channel 199. The bottom shows channel 199, but that's only because that bank in the settings from the factory is designed to display the channel number. The top bank is designed to show the frequency number. You can change that in the menu and have it show frequency on either one, memory name on either one, or channel number on either one. Do no, you can't confuse that with you know different with transmitting and receiving. Okay, so you, to transmit, a, uh, I'm sorry, to program a repeater, you go back into VFO mode. The next thing you'll do is you will program in your receiving frequency for whatever repeater it is you want to you want to connect to. So, in the case, in my case, I'm going to use my favorite repeater, which is a receiving. For it transmits on a frequency that I want I want to receive is 146820. All right. Once you have that set, you go into your menu. You're hitting the F key on top and you want to select the memory you want to save it on. Now, here's the key. If you're not sure what you're do if you're not sure which channel you want to save it on or if there's already something in there, um, probably the best thing to do is to delete any existing memory that's in there. So go up menu item 36. I'm sorry, let me get out of this. Menu item 37 deletes an existing memory channel. If you're having trouble, delete the memory that you're trying to save first, then start this process. So I'm going to go ahead and delete channel 0 because that's where I want to save this. Therefore, that, that way I know I don't have anything in there and I'm going to be starting from an empty memory channel. Now go down to memory channel, which is menu item 36. Memory channel 0. Hit the, F, hit the F key to drop down to the channel. If you turn this, you can save it into different memory slots, all from 0 to 199, okay? I'm gonna save this in 0. This is my receiving frequency, so I hit the F key to save that. I just saved the receiving frequency into memory channel 0. At this point, you're gonna exit. Without switching to the bottom bank, leave it on the top bank, or whatever bank you started. If you started on the bottom, leave it there. It, it doesn't matter. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to set your transmitting frequency. This repeater uses a negative 600 offset, which is pretty standard. So it's 146.220. All right, there's my transmitting frequency. And I need a PL tone. So I'm going to hit the F key to get into my menu. I'm going to scroll down to CTCSS. TC, where is it? T, uh, where is it? There it is. And it's already set because I, I kind of went through this before I started, but that would say off if it wasn't already set here. But you would hit the F key, turn the knob to, to get to whatever tone you need to transmit, hit the F key again to save that setting. Now scroll back up to memory, not delete, but memory channel, hit the F key. Make sure the same channel you just programmed for receiving is set, and then hit the F key to save that. All right. This has now been programmed on memory channel zero to receive on 146.82 and to transmit on 146.22, I'm sorry, 20, with a PL tone of 162.2. Let me say that again so I make sure I didn't get it wrong. 
It's set to receive 146.82. It's, it's set to transmit 146.22 with a PL tone of 162.2. I left it alone long enough for it exited the menu mode on its own. If it hadn't, you could just hit the exit button. Okay. At this point, you're still in VFO mode. You are not using the program channel you just set up. To go to memory mode, you hit M, the V slash M, that stands for VFO slash memory. Hit that, now it's back in channel mode. Right now it's on channel 199, which is the factory programmed channel. If I turn this tuning knob, there's channel zero, I just programmed. You can see it's set to receive on 146.20. If I key up this mic, you'll see that frequency on the same line drop to 146.220, and I should get a response from my repeater. I'm gonna do that right now just to give it a test. It's KM4 GIY testing. I don't know. Yeah, 4 GIY, KJ14, you mean it's working, Mike? <clears throat> hey, good morning, Ronnie. I appreciate the, the comeback on that. I'm actually filming a little YouTube video to try to help a gentleman out with his uh, radio. He's having trouble with it, and I was just going through the steps of programming a repeater and uh, just wanted to make sure I got everything set up right. Sounds like I do. So uh, I'll get back with you a little bit later so I can get back to finishing this video. Uh, have a good morning. It's KM4GIY, KJ4DEV. Have a great day. Yeah, before you go, what kind of radio is that? This is a little, uh, it's an inexpensive Chinese one. It's a Gentai, I guess that's how you pronounce it, JT6188 Mini Mobile, 25 watt dual band. It, 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 it works pretty good. It works okay. I'm uh, thinking about using it in a go box. So I'm pretty happy with it. Right, similar to a Bofang type thing. Um, got it off of Amazon for 99 bucks, and it, it does a job. Not bad for a little dual bander. Yeah, I think the Bofangs are like 30 some dollars. Little, little agencies, 30 some dollars. That's a little bit more expensive than that. I've got a, yeah, I got one. Let's talk about that. Anyways, I'll post a second video with some more detail.